After finishing the last track, I realized the workflow could be a lot smoother using geometry nodes. So I spent some time in Blender and built a few custom node groups that help generate track elements optimized for Assetto Corsa. Here's how it works. I start with a reference terrain, a curve to define the road, and a flat plane for the new terrain. The first node group shrink wraps and smooths the road curve onto the reference terrain. Then the second group creates a triangulated mesh, optimized for the game. I'll explain it using a part of the track I'm currently building. A mountain pass in the Czech Republic, known for its curves and elevation changes, it's long been a favorite among local drivers. I sourced the reference terrain from a mapping site, downloading a point cloud and an orthophoto texture. Then I used Cloud Compare to convert the point cloud into a mesh, imported it into Blender, and created a material using the downloaded texture. The mesh doesn't come with a UV map, so I just unwrapped it from the top view. With the reference ready, I added a curve to trace the road. Let's have a look at the road tool. First, the curve is subdivided and shrink-wrapped to follow the terrain. I reapply the original radius and resample the curve. To turn it into a mesh, I need a profile. So I use two curve lines, one for the road center and one for the edges. This lets me control the width of each section and shape the edges. The width also scales with the curve's radius, which is helpful for manual tweaks. Next, I generate a UV map using the curve factor values. At this point, the road mesh is done, so let's move on to the white lines. I isolate the border edges, convert them into curves, flip the normals inward, and delete the ends to get two clean side curves. These are also used later for placing guardrails. Then I offset the curves inward by the width of the road edge, resample, and convert them to mesh. I generate UVs the same way as before, and shrink wrap the result onto the road mesh so everything follows the shape properly. Since Assetto Corsa's Chaos Editor has a limit of 65,000 vertices per object, I made a node group that splits the mesh by point count and lets me choose which chunk to keep. After that, I rejoin the border and center curves for later use. The way I use this is to disable the road mesh and manually trace the white lines from the reference. With the road done, I move on to the terrain. This group takes two inputs, the reference terrain object and the road mesh. First, I turn a flat plane into a triangle grid. Then it's subdivided based on proximity to the road. I can also delete terrain that's too far from the road and not needed in-game. Some values need tweaking, otherwise you get holes or overlapping faces, but once it's dialed in, it's a quick way to create optimized terrain with high detail where it matters. The whole grid is then shrink-wrapped onto the reference mesh. Next, I smooth the terrain under and around the road to get a flat surface with almost no overlaps. Once that's done, I split the terrain into smaller parts again, and it's ready. To place guideposts, I created another node group. I isolate the center curve from earlier and instance a post every 50 meters. Then I mirror the post to both sides of the road using the curve's radius and normal. There's also an option to automatically delete posts if they're too close to objects, like guardrails. For guardrails, I split the side curves into a new object so I can assign points to vertex groups. I disable the road, convert the curves to mesh, and load the guardrail node group. Then I assign vertex groups to control where the rails and arrow signs should be placed. I won't go too deep into this one, it's fairly straightforward. The node group builds the mesh from a curve and instances the posts and arrows. Again, everything is split into groups at the end. There's also an option to create a collider mesh. Last up, trees. I use 3D trees with LODs in my tracks. To place them in game, I use software called Assetto Corsa Foliage. It doesn't need actual trees in Blender, just a point cloud with their positions. To generate that, I duplicate the terrain and apply the node group. In the group for trees, I use a proximity mask from the road mesh to scatter points onto the terrain. Then I instance a mesh line on each point just so I can apply the modifier. Once I apply everything, I get a clean point cloud that I export as a PCD file and load into AC foliage. 
that's it. The map is optimized and ready for the next steps. This is just one tile from a 15 kilometer long road we're building using this method. I'll go over the rest of the process in upcoming videos. Things like road marking, stone walls, and other details. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. The test version of the track is already available on our Patreon for paid users. The full version will be released for free once testing is complete. If you'd like to try the maps or support the project, check out the Patreon. Links in the description. I'm still improving the tools and trying out a few new ideas. Once everything's ready, I'll release the full pack on Blender Market. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the tools and what track we should create next.